Hello, good morning everyone. Now we will discuss a new topic today that is sustainable development. I am Professor Santosh Nandar. Before discussing sustainable development, there is a need to define the concept of sustainable development. We will define what is sustainable development. Sustainable development is a process that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. What is the road map towards sustainable development? How many development activities that has been taken place? We will discuss. Stockholm Conference 1972 led to creation of United Nations Environment Program UNEP. Our Common Future Forum, World Commission and Environment and Development that was in 1987, Common Future. Our Summit Rio de Janeiro 1992, Agenda 21, Sustainable Development Blueprint. World Summit, John Berg, 2002, Economic and Social Focus on Sustainable Development. Now we will discuss about the elements of sustainable development. Stage 1. What stage 1 says? Focus on environmental protection to reduce pollution and waste while increasing reserving of nature and open space. Government regulations have crucial role to play in this regard. For businesses, these regulations usually became a cost of doing business that gets passed into or into their cost or onto consumers means the government that can play a very important role in this regard but for the businesses because if environmental rules and regulations are followed so they will have to spend the cost on it and they are passing that cost on the consumers and their cost of production that is also increasing this is a, it is a one kind of the feeling for the businesses now we will discuss stage 2 focus on climate action through climate action plans that begins with the comparison of place carbon footprint with its desired carbon footprint and then move on to formulate a set of actions that are designed to take that place from its current carbon footprint to its desired carbon footprint. These actions are typically combinations of regulations that are imposed on the market and subsidy incentives that supplement the market. Taken together, they seek to require increase businesses to become low carbon. So, what we can say? We can say that such kind of those who are producing environment friendly goods, the business houses or businesses, if they are bringing all these goods to the market for the consumers, so some kind of the subsidy that will be given to the producers, to the business houses as well as to the consumers, so that they can be initiated, they can be encouraged to use more and more environmental friendly goods. So, just like we can say solar system or other kind of if they are using in their uh, as an consumer activity or as an consumer goods. So, consumers they are also getting the subsidy and as well as the businesses who are producing that they are also getting the subsidy. Now, we will discuss stage 3 whatever what stage 3 says. focuses on sustainable economic development 
which recognizes that a green market is emerging, sustainable economic development policies and programs are specifically designed to guide the market in general and individual green businesses. Sustainable real state development and green investments in particular, the market becomes an ally producing economic prosperity, low carbon environmental quality and social equity at the same time becoming greener becomes the way to become more profitable. So, such kind of in addition to that such kind of goods are increased or such kind of uh, investment is increased in which there is a go green, get green, follow green. So, such kind of the businesses they are increased and uh, consumers who are using uh, such kind of products. So, they are also increased. So, that in future if you see that that becomes a very profitable for both the businesses as well as for the consumers, because the goods which are produced and are supplied in the market in the name of the go green. So, they do not harm environment and if the environment will be protected ultimately that will be benefit to the to the society or the you can say that consumer at large. Now, we will discuss about sustainable economic development, what is the focus of this sustainable economic development. First one, recognize the needs of everyone, it is very important each and every individual who is a part of the society their needs must be recognized. So, that must be taken into consideration, otherwise what will be happening, one section of society they will uh, be benefited with that, they will follow only that and other sections of the society for which the goods are not made or they are not taken into consideration. So, they will be out of race. So, recognize the needs of everyone, benefit of increased prosperity must be shared among all, improved access to services, needs must not be met by treating future generations unfairly. So, all these any kind of the facility which is given to the present generation that must be given in such a way that, so that our future generation they do not suffer, they do not feel any kind of the scarcity of that kind of good. Effective protection of the environment, limit effects of climate change, limit global environment threats, protect human health, wildlife, landscape etcetera. So, all these four kinds of, so they are part of our uh, society you can say that or they are part of our environment. So, all they must be taken into consideration may be human, may be the wild, may be environment everything uh, is taken into consideration. So, if it will be taken into consideration it will be ultimately benefit to whole society or whole world or whole universe. Prudent use of natural resources, effective use of non-renewable resources, some resources they are not renewable, we cannot renew that. So, their use must be uh, taken into consideration, so that they must not be excessive used or misused. Development of alternatives efficient use of renewable resources. So, those resources which can be renewed, jo dobara hum usko recycle kar sakte hain, so unka hume proper use karna chahi. Maintenance of high and stable economic growth and development, because grow, economic growth is a necessity that must be taken, but the economic development is very very important part of society, because economic development increases the educational level, health facilities, infrastructural base, if all that will be taken simultaneously together economic growth and economic development. So, the people they can easily follow the rules and regulations which are leveled in sustainable development. Achieving higher standard of living, greater job opportunities for people, skill development, investment in vibrant infrastructure etcetera. 
So, such kind of provision that must be taken into consideration. So, if uh, the people they have plenty of or they have the good number of jobs, so what will be happening? They will not be suffering with the poverty, they will not be suffering with low level of income and they can easily follow all these rules and regulations. Sustainable economic development strategies. So, in this we will uh, be going to discuss ki what kind of the uh, strategies that must be followed and uh, which is very important for the production of environment, which is very helpful for the benefits of human world or universe or society at large. So, we will discuss all these strategies in this. Sustainable economic uh, strategies could generate sustainable economic and employment growth and sustainable business and community development by demonstrating the innovations. So, more and more innovative activity must be taken into consideration to enhancing the sustainable development activity for society. Efficient and conservation in the use and reuse of all natural and human resources are the best way to increase jobs, incomes, productivity and competitiveness. So, all the uh, human resources and natural resources they must be used in efficient way, so that they can create more and more jobs, they can increase the income level of people, they can increase the productivity and they increase the competitiveness among the among all humans. Sustainable economic uh, development strategies are a highly cost effective method of prom promoting renewable energy and clean technologies, protecting the environment and preventing harmful impacts uh, from global warming. So, if we take uh, sustainable development strategies, so that will be taken into that sense, so that will not uh, effect and that will not harm the environment level and if that will not harm the environment level, so they will be effectively Im implemented and the people they will follow easily all these activities which are for the protection of sustainable development. A next strategy we will discuss. Uh, through development of sustainable economic development strategies based on technological innovations and resource efficiency and resource efficiency countries can grow their economic improve their standard of living and expand businesses jobs and incomes so that taken into consideration so the businesses and the jobs of the people they must not suffer if it will suffer so, what will be happening? The people they will not follow these sustainable development strategies with open arms. Building a long term sustainable economic development strategy is a complex undertaking. It requires strong and cons consistent leadership, bold vision and appreciate level of resources, but if done well it can lay the foundations for a new and higher level of prosperity, because the prosperity based on living of nature income and simultaneously growing community stocks of natural, social, human and economic capital. Means, we can explain that, because if we are implementing these sustainable development activities, so the leadership must be strong, their vision must be strong. So, they should have to frame such kind of policy which are very effective and sustainable and sustain for a long period of time for maintaining sustainable development in the in the country. And if it will be taken into consideration, so we will see the long term effects of this strategies which can be beneficial for sustainable development. Now, we will discuss about sustainable economic development practices. Pursuing a sustainable economic development strategy requires 
certain kind of practices we will discuss here. Awareness, awareness is very important. The people they must be aware, knowledge hona chahiye ki such kind of uh, activities, such kind of the goods are available in the market. So, that can be helpful for protecting the environment and generating the sustainable development. Key leaders in government, businesses, civic leaders and economic development need to become personally convinced that the shift to a sustainable economy represents an opportunity worth pursuing. So, leadership must be focused on that ki sustainable development activities which are implemented, which are going to be implemented. So, that must be sustained and that must be pursued implemented in a right spirit. Assessment, assessment is very important because if we will not assess, so what will be happening? We will not able to know how much environmental protection that has been taken and how the people or the human they are following the rules and regulations which are leveled in sustainable development strategies. Need to undertake a comprehensive assessment of assets and challenges where the economy is strong and where it is weak and what the best opportunities are to pursue in the economy. So, if after assessment if it is felt that there is a need to change for making sustainable development more effective, so that can be changed and which can lead or pursue the economy in a better way. Strategy, the leadership needs to shape a broad strategies for action. So, such kind of uh, leadership must be there that must be strong and they can implement strong strategy for development for the welfare of society or for the people. Social development, social development active participation of each and every individual must be there because if all the people they are participating in this activity or they are following all. Uh, which are needed for the protection of sustainable development with their open heart. So, then sustainable development that can be successful and that can be useful and uh, that can be implemented to all the sections of society. Now, we will discuss about the sustainable development practices, action plans needs to be made, each strategy needs to be converted into a detailed set of actions with the budgets timelines, champions, key performance indicators and other features of good project management. Implementation, a, an infrastructure for implementation needs to be established given the nature of the sustainable economy. This will often requires collaboration structures that go well beyond traditional economic development organization. So, for the uh, implementation of sustainable development, infrastructure plays a very important role. So, infrastructure must be created and that infrastructure can help to sustain the sustainable economic development. Measuring success and continuous improvement, need to build a performance management system that treats each strategy as a hypothesis and builds the capacity for rapid adaptation and learning. So, such kind of strategies must be adopted. So, the people they can appreciate, they can rapidly adopt it and that can be easily for the learning for the society. Now, we will discuss sustainable economic development challenges. What are the important challenges we will discuss here? Seek a faster economic growth for eliminating poverty, hunger, inequality, unemployment and social injustice without impacting the global environment further. So, all the problems the country is facing regarding the poverty, injustice, unemployment that must be eradicated in a rapid way by, uh, by not affecting the environment further. Complex and multiple challenges for development, changing global economy along with likely structural transformation in next 10-15 years. So, all these uh, 
strategies which are for the sustainable development. So, that must be framed in that way that we can take the or we can take lead or we can follow the strategies which are implemented at world level or universe level. Uh, impact on businesses and lifestyles due to technological advancement that must be taken into consideration increasing population extreme poverty and enhanced migration. So, these are the biggest challenges for uh, sustainable economic development technological advancement if the technology changing many people they are losing jobs. So, such kind of technology or the learning by doing that must be there. So, that people they can learn that technology they will not be out of jobs and the population must be controlled to child norms people they must be appreciated they must be increased such benefits will be given to the people who follow the small family norms or uh, the migration that is also taking place and the poverty. So, these are the biggest challenges that must be taken into consideration. Potential in irreversible impact on climate due to exponential rises on CO2 uh, emissions. So, that is also one of the biggest challenge that must be taken into consideration. Defining the key indicators, this is also one of uh, challenge uh, for sustainable economic development. One of the major challenges for India is to devise sustainable indicators to effectively assess the progress of uh, so, uh, the SDGs, the key uh, uh, definitions for areas such as poverty, uh, hunger, safe drinking water, education needs to be revised in order to effectively implementation of the sustainable development goals. So, all these indicators which are leveled in sustainable do development goals. So, that must be taken into consideration that must be followed in full spirit. So, that the human they can be benefited with it. Financing sustainable development goals. Despite India's best efforts and making poverty elevation a priority since the fifth five plan, India has the highest number of people living below poverty line. At today's level of investment, there is a huge funding shortfalls that hinders the progress of attaining sustainable development goals. So, those are uh, hindering by adopting the sustainable development goals. The investment must be taken in those areas which can enhance the speed of sustainable development goals. Monitoring and ownership of an implementation process. It is essential to monitor the continuous progress of achieving the sustainable development goals. The dynamic nature of these goals makes it a complex process. Measuring the progress, the government of India has admitted the non availability of data, especially from the sub national areas, incomplete coverage of administrative data is yet another factor that has hampered the measurement of the progress for even the millennium development goals that were pursued to sustainable development goals. So, proper records, proper data that must be there, so that the government can uh, frame um, policies which can achieve the target of millennium, millennium development goals as well as sustainable development goals. Now, we will discuss about the sustainable economic development solutions, what can be the solutions, people centric strategies, economic policy and strategies must put people at center, aim should be to enable people to enjoy better quality of life now and in future. Long term perspective, the need to make radical improvements to safeguard the interest of future generations while for middle formulating long term solutions for present problems. Taking account of costs and benefits, policies and decisions must factor in wide range of costs and benefits including, including those which cannot be valued easily. 
creation of open and supportive economic system. Economic system must support economic growth and development and changing the dynamic. Combine uh, another solutions of economic uh, uh, sustainable development, how this can be, we can frame the solutions for them. Combating poverty and social in exclusion, equal opportunities must be provided along with equal access to education and employment opportunities. So, all they must be treated equally, there is no caste, class, income group must be leveled in that. Creation of sustainable economic opportunities at both micro and macro level. Chote se chote bade se bade star ke upar bhi sustainable development activity that must be that must be created. Providing housing, ensuring food and national security and making health services accessible and affordable. Emphasis on manufacturing sector to create jobs. So, manufacturing sector must be strengthened in such a way so that majority of people they can get jobs, more and more jobs will be created and if the level of income of people will be increasing, so they can easily follow the strategies which are leveled in for enhancing the sustainable development activities. Now, we will discuss UN Agenda 2030. UN's 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development envisages blueprints for peace and prosperity of people. The blueprint has 17 sustainable development goals as it is hurt which calls for global partnership to end the poverty and deprivation and to spur economic growth while tackling climate change and preserving natural resources. The, self, the sustainable development goals and targets will stimulate action in the critically important areas such as poverty, hunger, education, health and well-being education, gender, equality, water and sanitation, energy, economic growth and decent work, infrastructure, industry and innovation, reducing inequalities, sustainable cities, consumption and production, climate actions, ecosystem, peace and justice and partnership. The comprehensive agenda recognizes that it has no longer sufficient just to focus on economic growth, but on fairer and more equal societies and a safer and more prosperous planet. So, these are the uh, UN agenda of 2030 uh, recognizes that the tasks of peace, justice, environmental protection and industrial development are not disconnected from each other but part of same change. So, the industry and environmental protection they go together not separately otherwise sustainable development agenda cannot be fulfilled. Recognize that global and interconnected challenges can only be fought with global and interconnected solutions. It is an ambitious plan that will require a renewable global partnership between governments, businesses the civil society and, and individual and as if we make progress towards achieving the 169 targets, we will reorient national and global development on a more sustainable, more resilient path. Sustainable Development Report 2021, the decade of action for sustainable development goals, India stands at the rank of 120 with a score of 60.07. What is India's response? The way ahead. At the core of the agenda for 2030, the principle of university, uh, universality, leave no one behind. Matlab, kisi ko piche nahi chodna hai aur sabhi ko saath lekar chalna hai. This is the approach of India regarding the 2030 agenda. Development in all its dimensions must be inclusive of all people, 
everywhere and should be built through the participation of everyone, especially the most vulnerable and marginalized. So, जो लोग पीछे रह गए हैं और जो marginalized हैं उनको भी that they must be taken into consideration. Strong commitment towards 2030 agenda, conver uh, convergence of uh, sustainable development goals. and initiatives for inclusive development so inclusive participatory approach each and every individual must be included leading role in deter, uh, determining the success of sustainable development goals globally evolved understanding of the social economic and environmental linkages that define our lives task of coordination with the sustainable development goals has been entrusted in niti aayog mapping of schemes and targeted policies formulation along with emphasis on interconnected nature of sustainable development goals across economic social and environmental pillars development of national indicators for sustainable development goals and coordination with the state governments to initiate action on sustainable development goals implementation breaking down goals and implementation of sub national and and local levels Loc uh, localization allows developing local solutions to lo local challenges by empowering provincial and local levels of government now we will conclude well thought out policies will be required to make growth and climate objectives mutually reinforcing in the short and long term businesses will be required to make investments in the drive to low carbon economy individuals also have to grow into responsible consumers by committing to a changed lifestyle if we do not act now we will be delayed to reverse the impact so such kind of uh, spirit is required at that level businesses as well as the in individuals they should have to participate together they should have to implement all these uh, policies including each and uh, every individual of society then the target of sustainable development or we can achieve the sustainable development in our country thank you very much Uh, uh, for listening carefully if you do have any doubt any query question put in box and please like and subscribe this channel thank you